I've made it a priority to ensure women's health gets more attention, and we've seen progress over the last couple of years. In July 2022, we published a quality statement which clearly sets out what the NHS is expected to deliver to ensure good quality health services to women and girls. Since then, the NHS has been developing a women's health plan, taking on views of thousands of women across Wales who reported gaps in provision and opportunities for improvement. We now have a clinical lead for women's health and women's health network is being set up to give this area the focus it needs. There's also a team within Welsh Government dedicated to improving policy in this area and I've given instructions to ensure that a greater proportion of our research funding is spent on women's health issues. One condition that has a major impact on around 150,000 women in Wales is endometriosis. It's a really painful condition which can seriously impact the quality of life of people, but it hasn't always had the attention it deserves. Since 2022, we've been funding dedicated endometriosis nurses in each health board, helping to raise awareness, diagnosis and treatment of this serious condition. We've also made great progress in funding pelvic health coordinators in each health board to improve continent services across Wales. We're off to a good start, but I expect health boards to continue to make improvements to the services it provides for women and girls here in Wales and to meet the expectation we've set out in our Women's Health Quality Statement.